The bubble is the nerve center of the aircraft launch process. A small but vital station located on the flight deck. It's where the magic happens, where highly trained sailors ensure that jets are launched safely and efficiently. Inside this compact control station, the catapult officers, often referred to as shooters, work in unison with the deck crew. They are responsible for the precise coordination required to launch aircraft off the deck using powerful steam or electromagnetic catapults. Imagine the scene, a pilot in the cockpit, engines roaring, waiting for the green light. The shooter raises his arm, signaling all systems go. With a force of over four Gs, the catapult propels the aircraft from zero to over 150 miles per hour in just a couple of seconds. My name is Lieutenant Tony Longoria. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I am a catapult and arresting gear officer, also known as a shooter on board the USS George Washington. The watch stations we stand as a shooter is arresting gear officer. We're in charge of aircraft landing on the aircraft carrier in charge of the arresting gear. We are bow catapult officers launching off the bow of the carrier and waist catapult officers launching off of the waist. Flight deck on board an aircraft carrier is already one of the most dangerous places in the world. And once you add nighttime flying to that, it becomes extremely dangerous. So there's many safety precautions that we have to follow. All the signals are given by light wand. One of the greatest things about being a shooter on board this ship is launching aircraft off the front of the aircraft carrier. Anytime they send aircraft to the catapults, they send them, we shoot them. This precise operation is the culmination of intense training and split-second decision-making. The crew must account for numerous variables, wind speed, deck conditions, aircraft weight, to ensure every launch is a success. From the early days of naval aviation to the sophisticated technology we see today, the bubble has evolved dramatically. Modern carriers are equipped with advanced control systems that enhance the safety and efficiency of launches. The men and women who operate the bubble are some of the best in the world, combining expertise with nerves of steel. They play a pivotal role in maintaining the operational readiness of our naval air power. Inside the bubble here, I can hear things, and that's probably the greatest advantage of being in here. On the flight deck, I am kind of just in my own world. I only have a radio, so I can't hear or understand anything that might be going on downstairs. So uh, up top, I'm, I'm running around constantly asking for information and trying to feed it up to Airboss, to Handler, to the flight deck team, just so everyone can be on the same page and we can make the right decision at that time in case something is not going the way we planned. So uh, in the bubble, a lot more information is being able to be fed to me uh, quicker and I can get that information out sooner as well. You might be wondering what the colors of the jerseys on the flight deck of a warship mean. Let Caroline Logan explain. Hi, I'm Caroline Logan and I'm an aviation electrician's mate second class in the United States Navy. First, we have green jerseys, which are the people who maintain the aircraft. Maintenance, we have quite a few different rates. Uh, I'm an electrician. We have airframers who work on the structure of the aircraft. We have power plants who are mechanics on the engines and the rotor head. We have blue shirts who are the people who do chocks and chains, which are the little orange things on the wheels that keep the aircraft from rolling. Purple shirts are fuelies who fuel the aircraft. So when we refuel the helicopter, they take a fuel sample every 24 hours or every time that they fuel and they shake the bottle to look for debris and water in the fuel sample to make sure we're not putting that in the aircraft. White shirts are QA, which is quality assurance and safety or medical. And red shirts are crash and salvage in case there were a fire and startup or shutdown. The yellow shirts are the LSEs, the people who launch the aircraft off the deck. The catapult system is designed to propel aircraft from zero to takeoff speed in just a few seconds. This is achieved through a combination of steam or electromagnetic power, depending on the carrier class. The process begins with the skilled flight deck crew, 
each wearing color-coded jerseys to signify their roles. They prepare the aircraft, ensuring everything is set for a safe and powerful launch. Once the aircraft is positioned, a tow bar called the launch bar attaches the nose gear to the catapult shuttle. With a final check from the crew, the pilot is ready. As the catapult fires, either steam pressure or electromagnetic force accelerates the shuttle down the track, propelling the aircraft into the sky in mere seconds. This incredible system allows aircraft carriers to deploy a wide range of aircraft, from fighters to surveillance planes, rapidly and efficiently, maintaining the carrier's role as a pivotal force in naval operations. An aircraft carrier is a symbol of naval power, and its weapon systems are crucial to its defense and offensive capabilities. Let's start with the surface-to-air missiles. The RIM-7 PC Sparrow is a surface-to-air missile designed to provide close-in defense against anti-ship missiles and aircraft. With its advanced radar guidance system, the Sea Sparrow excels in intercepting and neutralizing aerial threats at close range, enhancing the protection of naval vessels. For close range defense, carriers rely on the Phalanx Close In Weapon System. This automated rapid fire system uses radar guided 20mm Gatling guns to destroy incoming threats, such as missiles and enemy aircraft, before they can reach the ship. Underwater threats are countered by the carrier's torpedo defense systems. Equipped with MK-32 surface vessel torpedo tubes, these systems launch anti-submarine torpedoes to protect the carrier from stealthy, underwater enemies. But the true offensive power of an aircraft carrier lies in its air wing. Equipped with a variety of aircraft, from F-A-18 Super Hornets to the advanced F-35C Lightning II, these planes can deliver precision strikes against land and sea targets, extending the reach of the carrier's power. All these weapon systems are coordinated from the carrier's advanced control centers, where highly trained personnel monitor and respond to any threat. This seamless integration of technology and human skill ensures the carrier's dominance in any combat scenario. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.